Hi, Bob Greenier, volunteer with the Martin Fleischmann Memorial Project. In a recent presentation, I discussed the potential transmutation of chromium in the iron chrome aluminium heater resistance wire in the Looking for Heat uh, reactor, uh, transforming, uh, transmuting through manganese to iron. And based on that, uh, I had a discussion with Bob Higgins, and he suggested um, that as I'd made these uh, suggestions that there could be some kind of zone refinement or uh, migration of any potential contamination of manganese in the fecral wire to the surface, uh, that it was probably a good idea to look at uh, a kind of body analysis by dissolving the material in acid. So the material in question is probably this kind of uh, on the end here, we discussed it in the presentation. And the idea is to take a section of this uh, of a known weight and compare it with a section of unused wire. And to that end, uh, when I met the Lion author in London, last week, I asked him if he could send through some of the unused uh, resistance wire that was used here, and he sent through three types, uh, 0 0.7, 0 0.9, and 1.02, with a reservation that only the 0 0.9 was labelled as being fecral. Uh, they were all purchased from Looking for Heat, but the only one that was specifically labelled was uh, the 0.9 uh, wire here. Now I have a micrometer here and I'm going to uh, turn it on and and zero it out and we're going to measure the wire here so it's, it's around about the 0.9 there uh, and I'm going to check the point 0.9 from the Lion author. So it's, it's about point 0.9 also. Get close in on that. So I think what we'll do um, is uh, we may use this wire. It might be prudent to test all of them if that's possible. But what I'm asking the chemists out there is what is the best uh, acid preparation to uh, conduct the uh, materials an analysis here. So what Bob Higgins suggested is we dissolve a certain amount of grams of this section here and a certain amount of grams of the raw unused wire in an acid, not the same <laughs> container, obviously, uh, so that it's fully dissolved and then let the mixture dry out and therefore it's all been mixed together anything that came to the surface in this will then be like a homogeneous mix and we let that dry out on a uh, SEM uh, plate uh, or as a powder and transfer that to the SEM plate and redo uh, like a map of the material um, to see uh, what the relative concentrations are when it's called all mixed together. So what I'm asking for is those experts in uh, chemistry and in dissolving metals are obviously iron, chromium and manganese are the target metals here uh, to do a very good uh, 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 a very thorough dissolving of this material and this material and uh, so that it's uh, all homogenous. So that's what I'm asking. Any experts out there? I think hydrochloric acid uh, is a suitable acid. And if anyone can put a step-by-step -step process, so take, I don't know, 60% uh, hydrochloric acid or whatever it is, and you add this water to that or that, that acid to this and, and, and put the thing in and maybe does it get heated? Does it get stirred? Um, just put forward a proposal uh, for a procedure uh, and once we have something that we can agree on uh, we can move forward and uh, prepare the materials for analysis. So 
It's your chance uh, with your chemistry expertise to uh, provide some guidance here. Thank you for your time listening.